So, let us show you a few examples of, of the force response. So, here you have h of s equal to s plus 3 over s square plus 3 s plus 2. So, let us find out uh, what is the force response uh, of this system uh, without solving the uh, differential equation or using the Laplace transform. So, f of t equal to 10 e to the power minus f t 5 t u t. So, this is an exponential function with an exponent of minus 5. That means, the, the force response will be 10 h minus 5 e to the power minus 5 t u t and this is uh, the nature of the force response and we did not derive uh, the formula for this, this we just given you in the last slide. So, you have exponential a of t then you will also the response will be also exponential a of t uh, with an with an uh, with an additional with an multiplication factor h of a which is a gain of the system. Uh, so, here you replace h s equal to s plus 3 over s square plus 3 s plus 2. So, you replace s by minus 5 and that gives you uh, minus 1 over 6. So, this minus 1 over 6 should be multiplied with 10 and the exponential term and that gives you minus 5 over 3 e to the minus 5 t u t. Similarly, if you have just 10 u t without uh, uh, without the 0 exponent with the 0 exponent or the, the value of exponent is now 0. So, you should get the force response uh, part of the system as 10 h 0 because the exponential term has a 0 exponent. So, h 0 u t that gives you uh, so so you can write this as instead of 10 10 u t you can write is as 10 e to the power 0 t u t and where now where the value of exponent is now 0 so that means you replace s by 0 h 0 which gives you just 3 over 2 and this gives you 15 u t so you, you in 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 the case of linear systems your input is a step input output is also a step input only the change will be in the gain similarly when you have exponential input is a, li a linear system the output will be also an exponential output uh, so so when you have a uh, uh, so the third case when you have a cosine uh, sinusoidal input output will be also a sinusoidal with the same frequency uh, but now the system will have a uh, system will have a g uh, phase and also the system will have a uh, gain factor uh, coming from the transfer function where you replace the s by the omega naught uh, with the j omega naught so you replace a uh, you replace a s by j omega naught uh, which is uh, j 100 pi here and that gives you 0 0.003 with an angle of minus 157 radian. So, that means this additional phase is minus 1.57 radian and the, the multiplying factor is 0 0.003 t. So, that is uh, the uh, force response when your input is a sinusoidal output will be also the sinusoidal with the same frequency, but you will have additional phase and, 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 and the gain factor that will be multiplied uh, with the amplitude of the system.